In this video, I want to talk to you about inline comments. And you, you might be aware of those. When you're reviewing a pull request, there is the option to do inline comments. Some people do it and put an inline comment, but don't do inline changes. Or they might put a comment at the end or list all the changes they suggest and say, on this line in this file, do this. Or maybe even put a link to that line in that file where inline is so much better for the author to understand what's going on. Also the maintainers, if you're not a maintainer or for other maintainers. But even better, if you do an inline change, then another maintainer can accept it and then the PR can get merged a lot sooner. Let me show you. I've got a pull request here by Dan, which is super awesome. So Dan, thank you so much for all your contributions. He's making some really big improvements to Link Free in our Next.js framework that we're using, which is awesome. But one thing I would like to change or suggest changing, and I will do it as inline to show you. So if I commented here or commented at the end, I put a normal comment and say, we don't use types in the variable names anywhere else you know, suggest we, we don't do this or rename it, you know, write, might write a bit more and I could hit add single comment. But that's a conversation, which is great. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I think it's a great thing to do. However, we could go one step further. There is a kind of a hidden button here and you could make a suggestion. So if I actually change that, then I can preview it and this is what it looks like. Alone, this line wouldn't work. So this is probably not the best example, but you'll get the idea. And I'm gonna show you an extra feature with inline changes in a moment, so stay tuned. But if this was all the changes that would be needed, then another maintainer or the author could you know, accept it. I can't accept my own because it's uh, obviously to accept your own, but you can accept someone else's. Even if they're not a maintainer on the project, they've made a suggestion, the maintainer can accept it because like I said, they can't accept their own. So if they see the change and they make the suggested change, they can't accept theirs. So you, as someone's helping the project, helping the maintainers, you can make the suggestion. And if the maintainer agrees, can hit accept and then they can get the pull request merge and you get a green square for it. Yes, you will have contributed to that pull request and so you'll get credit for it. It will be the new feature that GitHub and Git have done where it will be a kind of a joint combination collaboration on that contribution, which is super awesome. A great way to contribute to projects and a great way to get familiar with the maintainers and the community. But the extra thing that I wanted to show you, so if I actually don't hit cancel, if I go back to the right, actually, you know what, let's start again from the beginning. Let me hit cancel. And the other thing in this case, it's more than one line because to have events, events. So what you can do is you actually click on the plus and hold and then drag it down. And you'll see now I've got three lines selected. And if I let go now, it's given me the same comment box as you saw before. So now we can add a comment and say, having this nested, I don't think is consistent with the other changes. And going back to the suggested changes, we can hit this kind of plus minus. And you'll see now, if I make this a bit bigger, you'll see it's three lines. So I could actually make changes. And the, and the suggestion that I would make would be to have this right at the top, like so. That would be my suggestion. You can see it's gone from three lines to one. That's what I think will be good. And I could actually even put a comparison to where else is. I mean, giving context is so important. So putting a comparison to other places we've used it in the project is super important. And I merged one earlier today. So let's, uh, let's go have a look. So here is the other example that we had. It's got profile and then it's got error inside it. And then down here, how does it return the profile, let's see, I love things being consistent. I don't have a massive preference to the way things are done, but as long as they're consistently done is super important. So we could scroll to the end and profile data is the object directly in there. So I think we should probably do something the same. So yes, always give context, give links, make it easier for the other person, the other maintainer, the community members to understand what is going on. But I'm probably gonna leave it at that and maybe discuss with Dan in Discord. Again, keeping this consistent as we're making these changes, it's important to keep it consistent now. Please add value to the community in progress and you can. You can ask questions, you can make suggestions. Make those suggestions, don't be afraid. The worst thing is they don't get accepted. The pull request can still get accepted, except your suggested changes to the pull request won't be included. That's not the end of the world. You still collaborated and you still made people think, hmm, do we want this? But they've made the contest decision not to include it and that's fine. But you know what? It, they probably didn't realize it and it will help people. So when you're reviewing profiles on Link Free, which is amazing that you all do that, please do inline comments and 
inline suggestions. I look forward to geeking out with you in the Eddie Hub Discord, link in the description below, and while you're down there, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already.